Mr. Doy, thank you so much for the Canadian maple syrup. He will just picked up an i7 12700K with a Z690 motherboard for 450 Canadian. Going to put it on a 4070Ti or a 4080 on 1440p high refresh. Do you think I can you do you think I can use it till the 16th oh, gen? Oh, till the 16th gen. Yes, you can. Um, I don't know what Canadian prices are doing. Don't buy a 4070Ti. 12 gigs of VRAM is going to kill you. Um, you will not... Especially with a 1440p. No, refresh. you get a 4080. Yeah. I know the 4080 is painful, but 16 gigs combined with the boost in performance... It... You know another reason? You may not think it, but the, um, the memory bus is larger. Uh, yeah. And it matters for 1440p high refresh. Even if you don't need the VRAM, you've got a 256-bit memory bus on the 4080 versus a 192-bit on the 4070Ti. The 4070Ti is just so dumb. Yep. Either get a 4070 or get a 4080. Yep. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Hey, Josh came in with a third super chat. Josh, thank you. He says, um, does building a system now a good option or should I wait for the new release uh, this 2024? Merry Christmas. Thanks, Josh. That is an excellent question. See, I like that question because, well, I like that question and I don't like that question. I mean, I like that question because I'll give you a joke. question missing off of that, but... I like that question because it's a simple, straightforward question about should I do this or should I do this? The downside is what do you have now? What's your budget? What do you want to do with your computer? What's your computer not doing? In general, if you were going to build a machine a year ago called and said either build a Zen 4 or a 13 900k a year ago. The challenge to today is the prices haven't dropped by enough to be mind-blowingly exciting. The 14700k is okay, but it's not going to retain its value the way a 14900k would. And the 14900k is a refresh 13900k, and it's kind of expensive for what it is. None of the Ryzen 9s are going to hold their value. The, the 7950X and the 7950X 3D won't if you want to know what they're going to do, look at what a Ryzen 9 3900 and 3950X. 3950X. It's not worth diddly squat. Yep. And it will just keep falling. Mm -hmm. You know, you could build an i5 13600K today, and it would be fine for most people for, for quite a few years. It's already better than most people's machine. You could build a 14700K and just keep it for four years, well, five years. He's also not in the US, so you don't know what prices I'm are. I'm just giving everybody I mean? general advice with uh, the I, answer. I know, but I'm just saying. One nice thing versus a year ago is RAM and SSDs are a lot cheaper than they were a year ago. Motherboards have gotten a little bit cheaper. Video cards still kind of suck. Um, except on low end. You know what the biggest frustrating thing with building anything today is? You, you're supposed to ask me. What's the big... Tell oh. me, Tech. What's the biggest, most frustrating thing? What with... is it? Tell me. Whisper in my ear. For the average person. But people don't want to think of themselves as average. Most people are average. Most people are, but they don't want to be. It's not I'm a crime. special. It's not a crime. I know, but it's just saying that. It's like, I'm not average. Here's a fun video idea. With the benefit of hindsight, what computer should you have built each year to get the best bang for the buck over time? 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, what configuration would have given you, I'll give you an example. 
2018. What was the top CPU in 2018 from Intel and AMD? Oh, you're going to have to tell me because I'm past my expiry date. The Ryzen 7 2700X versus the i9 9900K. Oh, that's that $500. Yeah, the one thirty-five in the 500 bucks. The You're thinking of 2019. So oh, the next year. Three, in 2018, you'd have spent 330 to get a 2700X. Versus the 500 for the Versus 500. You know what? We'll call it 530. I, you could get Just, them for 500, but there were two. There was $200 difference between 9900K yeah. and a 2700X. Fast forward to today, what do you think? We already looked it up. A 9900K is worth 250 on eBay today. What do you oh. think a 2700X is worth? Oh, 50 bucks. 2700X? 20, uh, 35 bucks. Well, that's ridiculous. What? No, that's ridiculous. What? Do the so chicken nugget? Do sold and see. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Fine. See, well, that's, that's bent pins. You're not Condition fickle. used. I said 35 So these are sold $40, $50. That was wow. back in May. That doesn't oh, count. Oh, that's true. And that's November. November. 40 bucks. I said 35 50 50 Okay. So what's 250 minus 50 200 What was the price difference when they were new? 200 If you bought both in 2018 and then you sold both today, you could have enjoyed it all that time. The 9900K would be doing much better than the 2700X today. How do you get this point across to people? Buying a 13900K doesn't cost any more than a 13600K if you sell your chips in four or five years. Do you know how many people bought the i5-8600K back then? Because six cores was all you needed for games? Oh yeah, people had a right row connection Freaking stupid that six cores. Over that 8700. What do you think an i5-8600K is worth today? Because an i5-8600K was about 300. Yeah. It was. Well, new, yeah. Yeah, new, uh, back in 2015. Okay. 60 bucks. $50. 50 bucks. You might as well have bought the i9. Now, not everybody sells their parts. No. I get that. No, 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 not everybody. However, does. if you don't sell your parts, a 9900K today... As a secondary machine, as a third computer, as a hand-me-down computer to your kid, your brother, your cousin, your uncle, is still has still got five years of life left in yeah. it for for secondary or mm -hmm. non-primary enthusiast use. An i5-8600 is just yuck. Six cores, six threads, no hyperthreading. Why don't you do a poll? You asked a question about buying what they should have bought. So should have you bought a better CPU? Should have you bought a better motherboard? Didn't you ask that question? No, what I said is a video idea is what would have been the best thing in retrospect to have bought each year since we started YouTube. Well, that would be an interesting question to ask the audience. What In retrospect, what? What would have been the better thing for you to buy? How, can How you... do I type the answers? Well, no, you don't type the answers. You just do general. Just should have, should have they should I have bought a better motherboard? Should I have bought a better CPU? I don't know. Are you happy with what you built within the past five plus years? I just do five years. There you go. made right choice I ran out of letters honey oh there you go 
ya. I don't know, just an interesting question. Since we're on the topic. If you buy more CPU and GPU than you think you need today, you just grow into it. Yeah. If you buy barely what you need today, you're looking at replacing it before you've even gotten into it. Gotten into it. Yeah. And if you buy what the mainstream people tell you to buy, it's half obsolete already. I still see people saying, All right, gonna go down to I still see people saying today, just pick up a Ryzen 5 5600, a cheap B550 motherboard, 16 <laughs> gigs of RAM, and an RX 6600, it's all you need. And they're not wrong. The problem is you're not saving anything. Oh, but it's cheaper. Yes, it is. That doesn't mean you're saving anything. You're buying it well, halfway short, into death. Short-sighted. It doesn't have any future in front of it. So you're spending money now, and you're just gonna spend money quickly. If you... Could spend the now. I know you go. Well, I don't have the money. Then stop playing video games and go fix that. Yep. I you if you're so broke that a that an i5 13600K is unaffordable. With all due freaking respect, stop playing video games. You're broke and you need to go fix your financial life. Go earn some money. Get money. Get money. Get money. Get money. Get money. And this is where I get to the honest part of the live stream where I tell people the truth. I mean, you know, I can't speak to what people's situations are in Brazil and Indonesia, but if you're in the United States or Western Europe, yep. here's the thing. A 13600K will outlast a 5600 regardless of your use case. It just will last longer and be more useful longer. So you will spend more, but you divide what the computer costs by the number of years it's useful. And a $1,000 computer that lasts you three years or a $2,000 computer that lasts you six years are the same cost per year. But the benefit is the $2,000 computer was a really nice computer for the first three years. Exactly. Or you could semi-retire it after three years to a secondary position yep. and get a new machine and you still have a useful computer. Yep. The problem with budget hardware... You can't. It's hard to do that. Oh, after it's three or four years old, it's useless. Yep. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.